Good evening to everyone. Um, well, now that I see that Juan Fernando that you're here, I just want to ask you a question. Were you able to, um, to complete the exercises that you told me last time? Or you're still having the same issue with that? Uh, o sea, estaba intentando terminarlos. Mm -hmm. Este, pero, o sea, no, no logro entender qué es lo que está haciendo, porque era un ejercicio de listening. Uh -huh. Entonces, había uno como que si María estaba, bueno, se escucha como que si es un piñón de bicicleta, o sea, yo asumo que es como riding, ah, puse otros verbos, pero tampoco no me da. Y en la última, este, me daba, bueno, se escuchaba como que si, o estaba trabajando, o estaba comprando, entonces no, uh -huh. in, con todos esos verbos y no, no, no me dio la opción. Ok, can you tell me like, for example, uh, I have been trying to check the, like the platform, but I really don't know what, uh, what, what exercise is, it, is that one, I mean, can you please send me a message like telling me, ok, it's exercise section something, exercise something because for me trying to check one by one is like a little bit difficult so if you tell me exactly the exercise so i can go there and try to check what's going on with that okay in the section five in mm -hmm. the section what are you doing uh let me check uh, all right so is the mm -hmm. uh, Knowledge uh, 5.13. 5.13, okay. Try to send me that by a text message or send it through the WhatsApp group so I can check that later on because um, I was trying to check that today, but I was like, which exercise is that one? So I didn't know that that was the one. Okay, no problem, no worries. All right, so uh, is... Well, let me ask you to every one of you, have you, have you had any problem with the platform, like, um, like mistakes or something like that, any error or something, no, algún error que hayan tenido o que hayan visto en la, en la plataforma, or everything is okay with you? No, teacher, este, no, yo no, no. he visto ningún error. Okay. Pero igual no voy, al, no voy en la sección que va Juan Fernando, voy más atrás. Ok, ya, yeah, I mean, no, no problem. Uh, cada quien está trabajando a su, a su tiempo, ¿verdad? A, a su forma. Ustedes saben cómo lo llevan, but I mean, if you, if you can work on that, si pueden trabajar así como pues, cada quien, ustedes saben cómo lo llevan, ok? So... Uh -huh. Eh, yo voy también por la sección 5. Eh, uh -huh. Sí he tenido unas dificultades a la hora de responder porque como que hay unas que hay que contractarlas uh -huh. y otras no. Entonces no, yo a veces me dejo guiar porque aquella no la contracté, las otras no las voy a contractar. Uh -huh. Entonces al final me da error. Eso me pasó ahora con la sección 513 parece. Eh, oh. donde tenemos que escuchar los sonidos y este, identificar qué es lo que está haciendo la, el sujeto. Mm -hmm. Y realmente este, en la última intenté de mil maneras y no pude. Al final le quité la, contra, lo, eh, la contracción y mm -hmm. le cambié incluso la palabra. Hasta entonces pude, pero sí me tardé. Creo que dos días llevaba con la misma porque no podía. En esa, y, y en otras, igual me ha pasado lo mismo, que en unas sí se contracta, pero en otras no, en las respuestas que hay que dar. Ok, eh, lo que he visto es que la mayoría ha tenido problemas en ese. Eh, apparently, aparentemente, el mismo problema que tiene Juan Fernando es el que tienes tú, Elizabeth. So, um, today I will try to check that exercise. And I will try to see, voy a tratar de verificar cuál es el error que les está dando o eh, las veces que ustedes han intentado y sus posibles respuestas que han dado. 
So I will try to check that and I will let you know through the text, through a text message, okay? Se lo haré saber por un mensaje through WhatsApp, okay? So in case I found something. Uh, solo una pregunta. Uh -huh. Este, es, o sea, yo en ese estaba intentando, bueno, porque decía como la acción. Entonces, no sé si yo estoy haciéndolo mal, porque yo asumo como que si es algo, como algo que está haciendo, entonces sería como los verbos, pero con ing. O sea, todo me los ha, ha dado bien, solo la, la, la última es que no sé. Y lo que yo escuché que ella dijo que... The same. Uh -huh. Sí, te, 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 pues, puedo ayudarte porque si realmente yo tuve que pedir ayuda. Yo le pedí ayuda a mi sobrino que está estudiando inglés también, ya va bastante avanzado. Uh -huh. Él me dio muchas posibilidades también porque había que poner un oído bien atento al sonido y es uh -huh. una máquina de escribir. Entonces, en el ejemplo que nos da en el video, no sale la máquina de escribir. Entonces, sí, este, el verbo es, eh, bueno, o la acción es escribiendo a máquina, pero no va contractado, porque yo lo contracté primero y me dio error, después le quité la contracción y sí ya me la aceptó. Ok. Ah, es que en todo caso sería como... como, es como tipping, algo así. Typing. Ajá. Typing. Esto es typing, exacto. Es que right. se escucha como que si es, eh, se escucha como que si es, como que si alguien está pasando producto en máquina y al final como que se abre en la caja, o sea, yo a eso asumía que, que escuchaba. Exacto, yo también le ponía comprando, le ponía vendiendo eh, y ninguna me la aceptó. So sí, we're going to try to, to try to see that, well, as I said, I will check, um, that exercise specifically. So, but thank you so much for sharing that, Elizabeth. So with the other ones, eh, probablemente cuando lleguen a esa parte, o si alguno ya lo terminó completamente, but that's great. Y si no, si va a llegar a esa parte, so take some notes, okay? Tomar algunas notas, and then we are going to try to figure that out. So, um, well, so it is already time, guys, for us to start today. Today is going to be a new topic because yesterday we had kind of a practice. So um, I was checking some of you and honestly, honestamente, I'm so proud, very surprised, muy sorprendido. Y a las misma vez, eh, well, uh, I checked some of them y la mayoría de ustedes salieron bien. Hay unos mínimos errores, pero son casi que bien mínimos. Este, but the majority of you was very good. I will say, podría decir que en un average, un promedio entre todos, I would say like 8.5, 8.5, something like that. So it's not that bad. I mean, it's good. Uh, but I understand that probably was a little bit difficult for you or something like that. I completely understand that. But I know that with the time, you are going to understand pretty much everything later on. But at this moment, it can be a little bit difficult for you. That's understandable. So um, for today's topic, guys, it's also about vocabulary. But today's vocabulary is going to be about clothes. Do you know what that is? Ropa. Yes. The vocabulary of today is going to be about clothes. So today we're going to learn like some things about clothes, probably new vocabulary for you because I understand that most of you do not have that much vocabulary or probably you know already, but it's going to be, if you already know the vocabulary, it's going to be more practice. And if you do not know that vocabulary, it's going to be something new for you. So for as I said, we're going to start with that. Today is our 10th class, nuestra clase numero 10. So we just have uh, six more classes, guys. Six classes más, and we are going to be done. So my I advice for you or suggestion 
una sugerencia. It will be like, if you haven't finished that, todavía tienen seis días de clase, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then next week, Monday and Tuesday, to complete the platform. So you don't have problems at the end of the month. Para que no tengan ningún problema when we go to the next module. Okay, so as, as you can see here, it says close vocabulary, close vocabulary. So we are going to start with that and we are going to start with some of the most common parts or some most of the common men's clothes. Ropa para hombre, see? These ones are the most common ones we have the first one right here, la primera, we say it suits. Suit, suits in plural, suit in singular. Um, I'm not going to give you right now, ahorita no les voy a dar la traducción de lo que significa because hay una eh, presentación con toda, eh, con todas las translations, okay? So now, ahorita lo que vamos a hacer is going to be more listening for you and pronunciation, okay? Because remember, pronunciation is something very important. So, eh, es, es muy importante, chicos, que esto lo pronunciemos bien. Porque sabemos que en los hoteles hay algo que también se escribe de la misma manera. Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos la diferencia entre lo de un hotel y el traje de un hombre. Very easy, muy fácil. El hotel le decimos suite y se escribe de la misma manera, ¿sí? Suite, pero no suite de dulce, sino suite de eh, un hotel, la suite del hotel. I'm pretty sure that some of you have already heard about it. And this one, esta, cuando nos referimos a clothes, we say it as suit. Okay, suit, shirt, shirts, in plural, tie, ties, dress, dresses, blues, blouses, skirt, skirts, tank tops. So, once again, suit, shirt, tie, dress, blues, skirt, tank top. Okay, so let me see um, Gabriela Sanchez. Can you please help me pronunciate in all of these words? Sweet, sweet, sweet. No, 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 sweet. Lo que tú me estás diciendo ahorita es una habitación de un hotel. Remember, this is suit. Suit, mm -hmm. suit. Mm -hmm. Shirt, shirt. Shirt, no, shirt. Shirt, mm -hmm. shirt. Excellent. Tie, mm -hmm. ties. Yes. Dress, mm -hmm. dresses. Yes. Blows, blows. Blows, blows. Mm -hmm. Blouses. Blouses. Mm -hmm. A skier. Mm -hmm. Skirts. Mm -hmm. Tan top. Tan tops. Okay, very good. Let me listen to someone else. Um, Catherine Reyes. Can you say, can you do the same thing, please? Suit. Mm -hmm. Sh shirt. Mm -hmm. Tie. Yes. Ties, dress, dresses, blouse, blouses, blouses, skirts, uh -huh. skirts, tank top. Okay, tank top. Very good. So as I said, guys, at the beginning or right now, we're just going to try to listen to the pronunciation because there's some slides. Hay algunas presentaciones at the end that have all the translation of all those words, okay? So let's move on. Here we have uh, unisex clothes. 
eh, unisex, ya saben a qué le llamamos a las ropas que pueden ser tanto masculinas como femeninas. So we have a coat in singular, coats in plural. Jacket, singular, jackets, plural. T-shirt, singular, t-shirts, plural. Trouser, singular, trousers, plural. Jean, singular, jeans, plural. Short, singular, shorts, plural. Jumper, singular, jumpers, plural. Pullover, singular, pullovers, plural. Cardigan, singular, cardigans, plural. Sweatshirt, singular, sweatshirts, plural. When it says with a hood, cuando dice with a hood, se refiere con un gorro. Entonces, a esos le llamamos hoodie. With a hoodie or hoodies, que quiere decir que son los suéteres con gorro. A eso le llamamos hoodie. Okay. Glow, singular. Gloves, plural. My ten, singular. My tens, plural. So let's see right now. Nidia Esmeralda, go ahead. Coat. 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 Or coat. Jacket. Or jackets. Mm -hmm. T-shirt. Or t-shirts. Trouser. Trousers. Trousers. Or trousers. Mm -hmm. Jeans. Or jeans. Short. Shorts. Mm -hmm. Jumper. Jumpers. Pullovers. Pullover. Pullovers. Mm -hmm. Cardigan. Or cardigans. Mm -hmm. Switchers. Or switchers. Mm -hmm. A white apple. Or Hoodies. Hoodies. Uh -huh. Hoodies. Gloves or gloves. Gloves. Meetings. Gloves. Gloves. Uh -huh. Meetings or meetings. No, Maiden. 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 Okay. Elizabeth. Aquí me ponchan, pero ahí voy. Let's go. That's the attitude. <laughs> Uh, coat, 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 or, or coat, mm -hmm. jacket, uh, the shirt, mm -hmm. trouser, 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 mm -hmm. jeans, short, jumper, mm -hmm. pullover, pullover. Mm -hmm. Cardigans, sweet shirts, mm -hmm. or white a hood, um, glow, uh -huh. and meetings. Maiden. Maiden. Okay. <laughs> si se fijan, verdad? If you can notice that eh, tenemos nosotros la maña, digámoslo así, eh, anglosismo de agarrar esta palabra, la decimos en español y decimos. Páseme los jeans, vea. No, jeans is plural. Jean is singular. So all well, we have to always try to practice the same words because even in Spanish, we have adapted, hemos adoptado some words from English. So Luis, you're the last one. So go ahead. Okay. Coat. 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 Jacket mm -hmm. or jackets, t shirt or t shirts, jumper, jumpers, pullover, pullovers, cardigan, cardigans, sweet shirt or sweet shirts, or con gorro, mm -hmm. hoodies, hoodie, Gl glove, mm -hmm. gloves. Mm -hmm. My team, my teens. Okay, very good. 
So let's move on. These parts, guys, is going to be for baby's clothes or clothes that we use in holidays, clothes that we use for leisure. Leisure, la palabra leisure es por placer, pero cuando nos referimos a eso es viajes. Es decir, usted planea un viaje con su familia y a eso le llamamos leisure. Leisure clothes. Holiday or leisure clothes. And we also have nightwear. Some clothes that we use at night. Let's start with the baby's clothes and we have a romper suit. We have a nappy or nappies. That's the most, those are the most common ones that we have for babies. For holidays and for leisure clothes, we have the swimming trunks, we have bikini or bikinis, we have a swimsuit or swimsuits, or we can say it in three different ways. Lo podemos llamar de tres formas diferentes. Swimsuit, swimming costume, or bathing costume. The three of them are correct. So for the nightwear, we have night dress or night dresses, nighty or nighties. Both of them are also correct. We have the pajamas, we have the dressing gown or dressing gowns. All right, let me see. Um, Omar, can you please help me trying to say these words? Um, all teacher. All of them, please. Mm, romper suit. Romper suit. No, romper suit. Sorry. R romper suit. Mm -hmm. um, romper suit. Mm -hmm. Nappy. 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 Mm -hmm. Nappy. Mm -hmm. A swimming trunk. Mm -hmm. And a swimming trunks, mm -hmm. bikini, mm -hmm. and bikinis, mm -hmm. and swim suit, suit, um, um, a swim suit and and swimming suit, mm -hmm. night dress and night dresses, pajama. Mm -hmm. And be hammers. Dressing. Dressing globe. Glow. Dressing glow. gown. Dressing gown. Gown. Okay. So let's move on because the translations we have it later on in other slides. So here we have some part of some accessories that most of the girls uses. For example, or even boys. Here we have belt, belt that most of the boys uses, the handbag, or we have another way to say it. We can also call it, let's see, a, let me grab this down here, horse. We can call it in this way as well. We can call it handbag or we can say it purse. Both of them are also correct. Both of them means the same thing. So we have the head scarf. The head scarf, it's singular. Head scarves, plural. Scarf, singular. Scarves, plural. Glasses, sunglasses, watch or watches. Glow. Gloves, hat, hats, hunger or hangers. We also have some part of the jewelry. Jewelry. What's jewelry? Joyeria. We have, we have bracelet, bracelets, necklace, necklaces. All right. So let me see. Um, Carla Flores. Um, belt, belt, mm -hmm. handbag, purse, mm -hmm. hand scarf, hand scarf, 
scarves, glass, sunglasses, watch, watches, glove, gloves, hat, hats, hunger, hangers, bracelet, bracelets, necklace, necklaces. Okay, thank you so much. Alba. Okay. Buenas noches. Good night. Okay. Belt, belts. Mm -hmm. Halbach, halbachs. Mm -hmm. Headscarf. Head, headscarf. 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 Mm -hmm. Scarlet. Glasses. Mm -hmm. Sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Watch, watches. Glow, glow, gloves, mm -hmm. hat, hat, hangers, hangers, hanger, hangers, mm -hmm. bracelet, bracelet, eh, neck, neck, mm, neck, glasses, necklace, necklace. necklace. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Teresita, you're the last one. Good night. Hello. Uh, belt. Belt. Mm -hmm. And bag. And bag. Purse. Um, headscarf. Mm -hmm. Scarf. Glasses. Sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Watch. Watches. Glove. Glove. Hat, hat, mm -hmm. eh, hang, no, no sé, es el teacher. Hunger, 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 mm -hmm. bracelet, bracelet, necklaces, necklace, necklace. Okay, perfect. So, uh, let me erase this. Okay. So here we have, guys, some very important parts of the clothes. It means that we have chosen the most important parts of the clothes. It means pocket, significa bolsa, pocket. Collar, collar, es el cuello, collar. Sim, es la costura, sim, okay? Cuff. Cuff, le llamamos a la manga, cuff. Button, button, that's button, button, okay? Those are the most part, uh, most important parts of the, of a shirt, okay? Let's go with a pant or, or something. It says waistband, we call it waistband a la cintura, okay? We call it fly. A lo que nosotros le llamamos acá como pretina. That is the part, um, yeah, pretina. Pocket, again, bolsas, leg or legs, piernas, and once again, seam, que es costura. So, let me see. Um, Maricela. Good night. Hello. Can you say them uh, all? A pocket, collar, mm -hmm. seam, bottom, cuff, waistband, fly, pocket, leg, mm -hmm. legs, seam. Okay. So guys, we gotta be careful with the pronunciation of these two words. De estas dos palabras because it's kind of like very, very similar. It's just like one sound or one little sound that is going to be the difference. Uh, this one, we say the bottom, bottom, and this one, button, button, like como que no sacaran el sonido de su boca y como que les queda atrapado, button, button. And this one, bottom. This one, este es botón y este significa abajo, sí, como abajo, in the bottom, abajo. 
So make that difference clear, because if not, you could think, ustedes podrían pensar que están diciendo botón, cuando en realidad me están diciendo abajo. Okay, gotta be careful with that pronunciation. So guys, now we come with the translations of every one of the words. Here we have like, uh, como un resumen de todos. Uh, I just put this here, puse esta de acá, because I want to explain you some differences. Algunas diferencias que tenemos eh, when it comes to, to the accent. Sí, en el acento americano, the American accent, a las pijamas, sí, yes, if you can notice, se escriben de manera diferente. In America or in United States, they say pajamas with the P-A, con la P-A. And in the British accent, they say pajamas. Yeah, pajamas, pajamas. So there is just a little difference. If you can see here, uh, they also call it panty in the States, but in um, Europe, they call it sneaker. Or a los pantalones, in Estados Unidos se le dice pants. Y en, uh, with the British accent, con el acento británico, se dice trousers. So we have to know those difference, guys, because some people, algunas personas in the States, ellas les gusta eh, utilizar las dos formas. So we got to be also careful with that. So in the States also, eh, le llaman overall, or well, overalls, a los que nosotros le decimos aquí en Spanish, overoles, sí, overall. Sí, but in, uh, with the British accent, they call it Dungarees, dungarees. Also, in America or in the United States specifically, ellos le dicen al suete, sweater. But with the British accent, con el acento eh, británico, they call it jumper. Okay, that's those are the only differences that we have. So um, at the end of the class, I'm going to send you this presentation so you can have it. You can start it later on because there's a lot of vocabulary and I consider that it's going to be important for you if you have it in your phones or in your computer so you can study at home. So as I said at the beginning, here we have all the, the meanings. Here we have shirt, camisa, the shirt, Remera, se le dice es la palabra correcta, pero acá le llamamos como camiseta, ¿sí? Like polo shirt, camisas polo, blues, blusa, sweet shirt, es igual a sweater, pullover, jersey, sleepover. Todas estas se pueden utilizar para decir sweater, ¿sí? Sweet, uh, sweet shirt, sweater, pullover, jersey, sleepover, ¿sí? Sweater. Cardigan. Son aquellas como suéteres que generalmente nuestras abuelitas nos hacen con lana, ¿sí? Cardigan. Dress, vestido. Best, chaleco. Suit, traje. Three-piece suit, traje de tres piezas. Coat, saco. Raincoat, impermeable, de esos que se utilizan en la, en la when it's raining, cuando está lloviendo. Waist, Coat, chaleco, overcoat, un sobre todo, uh, Macintosh, es un abrigo de tela o lana gruesa, anorak, campera. I don't, I, I don't even know what that is in Spanish. Do you know what a campera is? Not right. Probably not. Mm, sería como visera. I really no. don't know. Campera. It sounds like... Uh, I don't even know what that is in Spanish, but if it is in this part, what's that? Do you know what that is? Una cangurera es una bolsita que se pero si se ponen a la a la cintura con un broche. Oh wow! Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know. Oh, so here we call it. Creo que acá le llamamos en el Salvador cangurera, ¿no? Maric. O mariconera. Oh, or mariconera, yes. But in English we say... La mariconera en sí creo que es como un bolso aparte. 
Yo lo hice más con cangurera. Oh, sí, también con cangurera. Yeah, it's probably both of them. Remember that in Spanish, en español tenemos una variedad de palabras para decir la misma cosa. ¿Sí? But in English, it's not like that. Sometimes. But we say it anorak. Anorak, that that's going to be what Elizabeth said. We have a bomber jacket. Uh, we have a duffel coat. We have a denim jacket. And uh, we also have more vocabulary. So what I was telling you is that I'm going to send you this presentation so you can study at home all these vocabulary. Because I understand that this is just one hour class and uh, it's not enough time for you to like to learn or to understand all of the words. So um, here we have more vocabulary, trousers, slacks, jeans, shorts, pinafore, vaya para quien no sabía cómo se decía delantal, pinafore, ok? A partir de ahora ya no va a decir páseme el delantal, páseme el pinafore, ok? Overalls, dungarees, trainers, sneakers. Here, guys, uh, como pueden ver, aquí tenemos las diferencias entre US y UK. So remember that uh, aquí estamos aprendiendo the US accent, but it's also necessary for you, es necesario that you know the differences, que sepan las diferencias between the UK and the US, okay? A, lo, a qué le llamamos sneakers in US? a lo que nosotros le decimos en español zapatos tenis, ¿verdad? Or zapatillas de deporte. And they call it trainers. That that's pretty much the same thing. So we have boots, boots, botas, boots. Welling stones también son botas, pero esta es una marca específica de botas, ¿sí? Welling stones. So eh, la palabra en sí en general sin poner una eh, marca específica, es boots, botas. Sleepers, pantuflas, clogs, zapatos suecos, shoes, zapatos, the normal ones, sandals, sandalias, high heel shoes, tacones, vea, high heel shoes, high heel shoes, sole, suela, Have your shoes sold? Ponerle suela a los zapatos. Heel. El solito, la palabra heel es taco o tacón. ¿Sí? Have your shoes healed? Ponerle tacón a los zapatos. Shoelaces, cordones. Flip flops. A esto le llamamos a lo que nosotros en El Salvador we call it ginas. ¿Sí? Ginas. We call it here genus or chanclas. That's flip flops. Okay. Es, uh, espadrilles, uh, alpargatas. I really don't know what that is, even in Spanish. And uh, well, as I said, there are some words in Spanish that I'm not able to understand, even though that's my first language. Okay. So let's move on to the last part because we have like two or three of these ones. And uh, let me see, um, see, I was here. So I'm just trying to pronounce the word guys. So probably you can check this class later on on the YouTube channel, or you can practice at home with your own pronunciation, okay? Or uh, if you check the class on YouTube, you can remember or listen once again to the pronunciation. So we say bath robe, que es una bata, night dress or night, night gown, pajamas or pajamas, socks, knee left socks, tights, underwear, bra or brassiere, knickers, sleep, underpants, bathing suit or bathing costume, bikini, swimming trunks. Let's move on. Belt, hood, tie, body, tie, uh, tie pin, braces, suspenders, cravat, handkerchief, 
What's the difference between these three guys? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre esto? Cravat es eso que cuando usted va a un restaurant, a un restaurante, y le ponen un pañuelo like in your legs, como en sus piernas, like for eating or something like that. And the handkerchief, ese es un pañuelo eh, que generally los hombres andan ya sea en la parte trasera del pants or like over here. So that's the difference between cravat and handkerchief, okay? Neckerchief, as it says, pañuelo de cuello. That, I have never seen that. Nunca he visto uno de esos, but eh, generalmente creo que mujeres utilizan más ese tipo de cosas. Creo que si no me equivoco son las pañueletas. Oh, probably, but I, I really don't know if la pañueleta se utiliza for the neck. Uh -huh. but, no. but I think... Yo, yo, yo la había escuchado más que todo como mascada. Se me las mujeres en el alrededor del cuello. Oh, that's probably that. Probablemente sea eso también, mascadas. I really don't know what that is, pero creo que son como unas que utilizan las uh, fly attendants, como las aeromosas. Something uh -huh. like that. Uh -huh. So, glow. Oh, oh, yeah, really. Some of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that. Gloves. We have scarf, shawl, cloak, cap, the red hat, wide brimmed hat, bonnet, top hat, helmet. Let's move on. Oh, okay. So with that, guys, we finished the part of the pronunciation and part of the vocabulary. So today, guys, we are going to have something that is going to be like a little bit different from the practice that we have been having. Ahora va a ser la práctica un poquito más diferente de lo que hemos estado haciendo. So uh, let me see. We are 14. Somos... Eh, 14 plus me, más yo, 15 in general in this session. So today, guys, we are going to try to practice a conversation. So it means that we are going to go to the breakout rooms. Yes. And I am going to be checking all of your groups. What I want you to do first, lo que quiero que hagan primero es in couples, en parejas. So you decide who is going to be. Ustedes deciden con quién lo van a hacer. It's your decision, but quiero que uno sea el que se ve negro, el gris, and try to make that conversation, okay? First of all, voy a decir yo, the pronunciation, and then I am going to be checking the groups. Voy a estar verificando los grupos para ver que todos lo digan. Everyone needs to participate. Todos necesitan participar. It means, significa que si hay siete en el grupo, alguien más se va a sacrificar para poder hacerlo con otra persona también. Es decir, una persona va a participar twice, dos veces. So, we're going to start. Vamos a empezar. Excuse me. Hello, sir. May I help you? May I help you? Yes. Can I see that shirt on the top? Shelf, please. Sure, here it is. How much does it cost? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's too much. How about this one? It's on sale for only thirty-five dollars. I don't like that one. How about the one next to the black gloves? It's very similar to the one you like. That's nice. How much is it? $30. That'll be fine. Is this color okay? Or would you like a different color? That blue one's fine. 
Do you need any more of these shirts? Yes. How many do you want? I'll take two more. A red one and a white one. Okay? So we are going to try to make that conversation first. Just in case. Solo en el caso. Okay. Um, please try to try to uh, take a picture or make a screenshot right now so you can have the conversation with you while you're practicing mientras practica. Okay, is it done? Alguien se yes. nos corrió, ¿verdad? Ya no somos 15, ahora somos 14. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it is what it is, okay? So, here we have number two. Solo en caso de que eh, aún tengamos tiempo, we are going to do exercise number two. Sí, vamos a hacer este and probably number three. If we do not have time, si ya no tenemos tiempo, these exercises are going to be for next Monday, okay? Is this done? Yes, yes. Okay. This is number three. Okay, teacher. Okay. So are we done? <laughs> are we done, guys? I just. Okay. So, as I said, um, let me see. Let me try to verify the. Let me see. Okay. Okay, everyone and otra persona se nos fue, verdad? Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Just let me try to double check. This one. Okay, so we will have uh, we will have four groups. Vamos a tener cuatro grupos. It means uh, Alba, Juan Fernando, Carla, and Nidia are going to be group number one. Uh, Elizabeth, Catherine, and Luis, group number two. Ana Acevedo, Omar, and Teresita, number four. Eh, Gloria Gabriela, I'm sorry, Gra Gabriela Sanchez, Gloria Mercedes, and Marisela, group, uh, the last group. So remember, todos deben participar, es decir, se van a turnar para poder A y B, like that. Remember, this is a practice. I want to see every one of you, a todos, practicing. If you do not know, Si alguien no sabe cómo pronunciar algo, ask. Por favor, pregunten. So let's go. Try to join your groups. Hello, Ana. What happened? Hello. ¿Qué pasó? No, no pudo conectar with the, with the group. No, no he podido. No, no, no. La verdad no puedo. 
como conectarme con Teresita y Omar. Mm, sí. eh, no le cayó un link o algo, something, ¿no? En, como en la computadora estoy, no. No, no he visto nada. Okay, that's weird. Y ahí Teresita y Omar, no sé si podrán ellos conectarse. Yes, aquí ya los veo a ellos dos ya conectados. Eh, sí. voy, a ¿Cómo le voy, voy a tratar de moverte a otro grupo y luego te voy a mover a otro. Vamos a ver si de esa manera funciona. Let's see, group number three. Aún nada, no algún mensaje, algún link que se envíe. No. No, solamente me aparecen los iconos ahí. De ningún link. Eh, can you go, puede ir a la pestaña que dice como grupos o, o, o descanso, cuartos de descanso, something like that. Grupo, grupo, a donde dice participantes. Eh, no. no, 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 no. Eh, hay uno que dice participantes, chat, uh -huh. compartir pantalla. Eh, el que está a la par que dice después de grabar. Hay otro que está a la par que dice como. como... Donde parecen cuatro cuadritos. Exactamente, ese. Ahí me tengo que agregar. Uh -huh. Ahí debería de aparecerle algún link o algo. El algo. número 3 me aparece. Ah, ok, bye. Ahí. From 3. Chal, mm -hmm. please. Sure. Where is it? How much does it cost? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Thanks too much. How about this one? It's on sale. It's for thirty-five dollars. I don't like that one. How about the one that is how about the one next to the black gloves? It's very similar to the one to the one you like. That's nice. How much is it? Thirty dollars. That be fine. It is color okay, or would you like a different color? That blue one is fine. Do you need any of this shirt? Yes. How many do you want? Uh, um, no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero uh, take to one more. A uh, red one and a white one. Okay. Eh, el último es aisle, como I y le agrega una L, así I'll take. I'll, I'll take. Sí, I'll sí, take. I'll take. Okay. Es una contracción de un tiempo gramática. Gracias. I'll take tomorrow. Vaya, y ahora. Creo Tengo que deberíamos que cambiar. O sea, Le... si yo... Is this color okay? Or will you like a different color? The blue one's right. Do you need any more of this shirt? Yes. I'll say, <laughs> how many do you want? <laughs> I'll take two more, a red one and white one, please. Ooh. 
<risa> sí, cuesta un poquito acordarse del, del, de la pronunciación, pero a media vez uno practique. Sí, ahí es donde yo, siento que... Yo, a, a, sí, y a veces a uno, por lo mismo, por el mismo trabajo, ¿verdad? Porque yo por lo menos, desde que vengo, ya me estoy preparando para la clase y a las nueve y me tengo que cortar temprano porque entro a las cinco AM. Es algo difícil, pero... Sí, para la práctica. En el, y que en el trabajo no queda tiempo para la práctica. Is on sold for only... Only... 35. 35. 30, 35. 35. 35. Dollar. Thirty-five dollar. I don't like that that one. Hold I put the the one net to the blacks glow glow is very similar similar to the one you like. That night. How much is it? Twenty dollar. Thirty. Thirty dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sí. I'll be fine. Is this color okay for war? You like a different color. That blue. How much does it cost? Me puede repetir? How much does it cost? Does it cost? Fifty dollar. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, that's too much. Fifty dollars, that's too much. Tercera. La tercera es la una tercera es, es una t-shirt. Una t-shirt. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces Las no tengo ese son yo. Shoes. Shoes. Los shoes. Ajá. La no, quinta no, es este. Un su sweater. Jumper. No, es un jumper. Un jumper. Eh, la otra es este. Pants. Pants. No, no jeans. Uh -huh. Jeans, ¿verdad? Jeans, la cuarta. Ajá, Ajá la ah, otra. Ah, sí, 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 jeans. Jeans, ¿verdad? Así sí, ya me había perdido, son... sí. Jacket sería este, como una chaqueta. No es camisa. La, mm. la que está debajo de jeans sí, es una, una shirt. Una camisa, una shirt. Ajá, una shirt. La otra sí es una jacket. Jacket, ajá. Uh -huh. La otra sería los socks, que son los calcetines. Uh -huh. Y la última es este el coat.
Okay, guys, let me ask you, you here the first one. How did you feel practicing that? Because I saw that some of you were having some problems. Uh, but what do you think? Was it good? Was it difficult for you? I would like that will be better that we practice every class because we can improve our our pronunciation and we can learn more than speak Spanish every time, right? I know, yes. And uh, that's why I was trying to do this activity because I consider that we need more practice. And this is the way that every one of us is going to improve, like practicing, like speaking. And remember, if you do not know how to say something, and I know that if you practice, con la práctica, todos lo vamos a poder pronunciar, okay? So I know that at the beginning, it might be a little bit complicated, but this activity is going to help you to try to practice, like at least in this hour, because as I have always uh, told you, in the outside world, uh, everyone speaks Spanish, right? If you go to work, Spanish. If you go to school, Spanish. If you go to the university, Spanish. If you go to the store, Spanish. So this is the only time where we can practice English. So uh, we are going to be doing this more common. Vamos a estar haciendo esto más seguido. Practicing, practicing, speaking, speaking, okay? So you can try to go like, like more fluent, see? ¿sí? Para ir teniendo un poco más de fluidez y empezar a mover un poquito más nuestra boca, ¿verdad? Y no solamente estar ahí escuchando. So, uh, if you guys did not complete the exercises, the, those ones are going to be for next Monday, okay? So, this is all for today, guys. I hope you have a good night and see you on Monday, okay? By the same time and same channel. So, have a good night. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Este, mm -hmm. ¿Va a haber clase mañana o escucho que hasta lunes? No, I said Monday. No, tomorrow there's no hasta class. Lunes. Yes. Remember no, that. Okay. Sí, no eso me, me yes. Yeah, on Friday we do not have classes. Viernes nunca. See you on Monday, no, okay? So see you on Monday and si enjoy your weekend. Yes. <laughs> okay, have a good night. <laughs> el, good night. El trabajo, <laughs> Okay, have a good night. I Enjoy see you. Good night. 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 Good